what happened? Well, look, first of all, it's on me. There are a lot of eyes on this press release, but at the end of the day, uh, my bad. But look, I don't want it to take anything away from the butt-kicking performance that the business did, um, thanks to all of our employees and thanks to millions of drivers. I mean, look, we had our, our financially strongest quarter we have ever had, uh, and I'm super excited about it. To be clear, uh, this was simply a mistake. Yeah. Human error. Human error. The stock rose as much as 67% in after hours. As Caroline pointed out, it's significantly higher this morning. Yeah. And we can talk about the performance in the quarter gone and the performance in the current period. This may sound bizarre to you, but I think it's a real question. Mm. Did you guys use AI to write that press release? <laughs> Seriously? Or is this as simple as, as you are calling it a clerical error? No, it was a clerical error. Yeah. No, we're not at the point where press releases can be written by AI, at least not financial press releases. No way. I hate to ask it because real people's jobs are now on the line, I'm sure, David. And I want to ask, is the CFO's role safe? Is this going to have repercussions from across your membership and, and employee base? The CFO's role is 100% safe, 100% safe. Look, she and the team are taking this incredibly seriously. And you have to understand, I mean, we go through hours and hours of checking and double checking before something like this goes. It's an unacceptable error. Again, ultimately, it's on me. I'm the CEO. Buck stops with me. But the team is taking it super seriously. And I know that you want to be talking ultimately about how you're seeing growth in the business. And I'm sure that that's something that, in a way, the salt in the wound is even greater because you had a great story to tell and it got marred by this particular error. But people are going back and saying they have never seen anything like this in history, David. What would you do differently in the next earnings? How can you make sure that investors feel confident in the statements that you put out to them in the foreseeable future? Yeah, I mean, look, I would look at our record and, and look at the growth, look at the fundamentals of the financials. And to be very clear, this was, it was a bad error, but it was one zero in a press release and, you know, a lot of other pages. Uh, and of course, we corrected it within seconds of finding it. So I think, you know, like with any mistake, I think it's not so much about the mistake itself. It's also about how you correct for it. And we've corrected for it, obviously, in the moment, putting out new materials, but also doing a really deep uh, process dive, including having our own internal audit team, a separate team, look and figure out how we can make sure we never make a mistake like this again.